Hello, this is GeoTechLand, and today I'll be taking a look at Ubuntu DDE 20.10. I'll also be commenting on Deepin 20 itself. Before we get started, if you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. So Ubuntu DDE is an Ubuntu-based OS using the Deepin desktop environment and Deepin itself is one of the nicer looking desktop environments you know in terms of the theme and you can usually find it on the Deepin OS which is based on Debian made by a Chinese company. You know there are some concerns about using Deepin because their default shop or store might be sending some data or gathering some data from the users. Here we have Ubuntu DDE using the latest Deepin. There's a lot of little changes that I think are, are interesting. One of the nicer things is that the default apps installed, I think it's a good selection. I think they made the best choices in terms of what apps to include. And if you take a look here, they have LibreOffice, they have GIMP, they have Firefox. They even have, um, and I think the most important part of uh, Ubuntu DDE is that they utilize the GNOME Software Center. And I think this makes it more appealing for Linux users because they can get the benefits of having this nice Deepin desktop environment without having to use Deepin and use their store. And I personally like it because I'm more of a fan of GNOME. And if I was going to leave GNOME for another DE, I'd still want to use a lot of their apps because they're, you know, they're very simple and nice looking. So I think that's the key thing that Ubuntu, the Ubuntu DDE team made is they just chose the right apps to go along with this OS. By default, Ubuntu DDE uses Snap. That might be my only personal preference is that I'd rather them use flat packs, but that's okay. I mean, you can always install them as an option. And then in terms of Deepin 20 itself, I think this is a huge improvement compared to what they had last time. Their settings button is a little bit more user friendly, I think. Previously, they had this notification center or settings menu that was um, it was more like a sidebar. Even though it looked kind of cool, it just wasn't easy to use, in my opinion. And so some of my favorite things about Deep and 20 is the default theme. I think it's very nice and modern looking. They give you just the right amount of freedom without making it too complicated to change up the OS. For example, you can easily go to their, the personalization menu and change it to dark mode. And their dark mode is just top notch. I think it's just the best way to do a dark mode here. And then of course you can change the accent colors. We're starting to see a lot of distros move towards having these options here. So that's good. And the icon themes, by default, you have a nice selection of icon themes. And again, it just keeps it simple, but still giving you a decent amount of choice here. And of course, with Deepin 20, you can always change the desktop layout. Fashion mode was always designed to look a little bit more like a Mac OS, although now it's a little bit different, as you can see. And then I can change to efficient mode here. And efficient mode looks a lot more like Windows 10 which again, I think it's a very nice look here. I think my only complaint about fashion mode is that I'm not a big fan of this space underneath here. I feel like it just looks odd, but again, that's a very personal uh, preference. The one other thing too, is that you can't really change the size of the icons. In my opinion, they're a little too tiny for me. So I wish um, you can easily change that up as well. Of course, you can change the preference of where you want this to appear in the top, bottom, the sides. So, you know, it gives you lots of options there. And they just do a lot of things so well with their icons, uh, even Deepin's default icons here. The other nice thing about Deepin is that it gives you a lot of options here, like in their start menu. If you want to stick to a more traditional start menu, I think it looks good and it's actually very modern looking. But you can expand it out and have this more um, Mac OS, GNOME OS, or GNOME distro uh, set of icons here. Very tablet friendly, I think, if Deepin were to be on a you know, small tablet or touchscreen device. And of course, you have even more options where you can split them up by category. So again, it's, uh, it's actually very nice here. Of course, you could change the wallpaper. Hey, look, it's using the Ubuntu Groovy Gorilla icon here or theme or wallpaper. Other than that, though, I think the Ubuntu DDE team made a lot of really good choices with this OS. Deepin 20 
is one of the best desktop environments. I think it competes with uh, Zorin for the title of the nicest default Linux uh, theme and layout. Gives you a lot of options and I think the icons here on the right hand side, I think that was an improvement. Um, of course, very much like a, looks very similar to Mac OS's Big Sur or, you know, like a very touch friendly tablet. Other than that, what do you guys think? Do you think that Deepin 20 is one of the best desktop environments? Do you see yourself using Ubuntu DDE as your daily driver? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.